Hi there. Welcome back. I'm Sarah Baldwin. This is Sunday with Sarah, my weekly video blog series on which I talk about uh, child development, Waldorf education, parenting, play, and what's going on at Bella Luna Toys. And uh, today, I thought I would use this opportunity to describe some of the differences between the different pentatonic harps or lyres that we sell at Bella Luna Toys. These are really popular instruments with Waldorf families and teachers. And I get a lot of questions, the same questions every week and every month, asking about the differences between our three most, most popular instruments. And um, so I thought I'd take this time to tell you a little bit about them and demonstrate. But first, I want to talk to you a little bit about why the pentatonic scale and how it's used in early childhood education in Waldorf schools. Um, the pentatonic scale is a five note scale. So on a piano keyboard in the, our traditional scale, a C major scale, there would be no C and no F. And this is a scale that was used in ancient Greece, in ancient Egyptian music, and is still very common in Asian music. And it has a very open-ended feeling or mood. Um, there's no strong resolution at the end, so it has a very dreamy, almost angelic quality. And Rudolf Steiner recommended this scale, this kind of music for young children, because they are still in that kind of dreamy state between heaven and earth. And we want to kind of keep them there in this dreamy state through their play and awakening their creativity and imagination without grounding them solidly in, uh, in the more traditional awakening music of the diatonic scale. So um, this, is, this is one harp, the Song of the Sea, pentatonic harp. These instruments are kind of interchangeably known as a pentatonic harp or lyre or kinder harp or kinder lyre. They're all basically referring to the same instrument, though there are subtle differences between a lyre and a harp. Um, they've come to be known by both names. So this is, the, this is new to us. This is the Song of the Sea pentatonic harp uh, with seven strings. We've been carrying a model with 10 strings, which I'll show you in a minute, but we now have one in seven strings, which is most traditionally used in Waldorf classrooms. So this can either be strummed or strummed downward. Or it can be plucked. Usually you would hold your thumb on one side and use the pads of your fingers to kind of pull the strings. And you can use different fingers. And uh, the scale, you'll also hear it used in a lot of traditional uh, folk songs and children's songs, so you can play familiar songs too. But the beautiful thing is, whatever you play, when this is in tune, is going to sound harmonious. There is no wrong note. So even if you're an adult who's never played a musical instrument before, it's a perfect first instrument. You can make up tunes. You can't play a wrong note. And um, a young child can play this too. Um, if it's a child under you know, four and under, I recommend that uh, it be played with adult supervision. You're going to mo want to model for your child how carefully we take care of it and how gently it's played. And don't want to pull the strings too hard. And a child over five will have fun playing playing it by him or herself. Um, so this is, a, a, I feel, a really great quality instrument for the price. I have um, played almost all the instruments that are on the market today that are available, and I felt that this model 
what for the price was one of the best quality instruments I've seen. It's got long enough strings, it produces a nice tone. It's got a, a bridge here, a metal bridge, a wooden bridge with a metal bar that helps it stay in tune. Um, we used to carry another instrument that I demonstrated in another video that we no longer carry because I wasn't happy in the long run with the quality of it. We had a lot of reports of it being very hard to tune and stay in tune. So I brought this in instead because I feel it's a much better instrument for the price. And then this is also available in a 10 string model. It's the same basic frame. It's got three extra strings. So this one is tuned D, E, G, A, B, D, E, G, A, B. So what's the difference? This has extra strings. It means that you can play a wider variety of notes and melodies and octaves. But you can also, when the child gets older, tune this in the diatonic scale after a child is, say, nine years old, and you can then play all the tunes that are available to you in a major scale. Um, so it has more longevity, perhaps, more flexible. But some people prefer the seven-string instrument because that's, that is what's traditionally used in a Waldorf classroom. So if you're a teacher trainee or a teacher, you may prefer the seven string model. The other um, thing to consider is how comfortable are you tuning a string instrument? I always recommend an electronic tuner if, if you've had no experience before. Um, as your ear gets better, you may learn to tune it with a, a, a tuning fork or by ear, but um, an electronic tuner is very simple and uh, easy to use. But with three extra strings, it's, it's uh, a little more time consuming, a little more challenging to tune if, uh, if that's something you don't feel comfortable with. You may prefer the seven string model. I just noticed I had a henna tattoo on my hand. I don't know, it's fading now in case my hand looks like I have a weird burn or scar. <laughs> Hope that's not distracting. And then finally, this is the Koroi Children's Harp. And uh, this one is a lot more expensive than the Song of the Sea. The Song of the Sea harps are made here in the U.S. Um, and uh, this one is made in Sweden. And it costs more because of the, the higher labor costs in Europe and also because of the, the importing costs. But also this one is very finely made and beautifully carved. It's a, the frame is just beautifully shaped and it's really a work of art. And it's also a beautiful sounding instrument. It's very light and delicate. Um, this one is very popular with, with Waldorf kindergarten teachers. You'll see it in a lot of Waldorf kindergarten classrooms. Um, if money is no object, this is a beautiful instrument to have and um, display and, and um, will give you years of service. All of them will. All three of them are, are well made and, and um, quality instruments that should last a lifetime. They all have steel strings. And we do sell replacement string sets for them. Your strings should be changed every one to two years. Even if you don't play them much, humidity, time will kind of wear them down. And um, so we do recommend replacing them yearly. And um, that is pretty much it. Uh, we also, there are, uh, we have other pentatonic instruments such as a glockenspiel and a pentatonic flute, a wooden flute. But for the young child, the beautiful thing about this instrument is it's just so soft and gentle. 
and heavenly, that it's a perfect instrument for story time. You can use it for introducing a story or for circle time at nap time and maybe especially at bedtime before a child drifts off to sleep. And so important for a child to hear live music from an instrument and not just a recording from an electronic box. So I hope that sheds some light. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them as a comment. And uh, thanks for tuning in once again. I'll see you next week and have a very musical week. Bye-bye.